Hello everybody, welcome back to Easy Weeknight Cooking with Heart's Desire Spice Blends. And tonight we have something a little bit more complicated, but oh, so worth it. So what are we doing tonight? Greek chicken. And we had some of it right in front of me that almost done. It needs only one more step and it is making me so hungry. So why don't we go ahead and figure out what we need? Three pounds or six pieces of chicken. One quarter cup olive oil, one tablespoon of Heart's Desire's Greek seasoning. You can't have Greek chicken without Greek seasoning, seriously. Three cloves of garlic, six strips of lemon peel, and I will show you how to do this. One tablespoon of lemon juice and about one teaspoon of salt, which is totally optional. If you're watching your salt, you're just gonna let this sit in the marinade a bit longer. And trust me, your family will be wondering what's for dinner as soon as it hits the oven. So we're gonna start off by preheating our oven to 425 degrees with the upper rack about six inches from your uh, broiler. And uh, the reason why we do this is we want extra browning on this. The browning is what really makes it. So why don't we get started? First, what we're going to do is make our marinade. We're going to start with our quarter cup of olive oil. Salt goes right on in. Same with our Greek seasoning. Our garlic needs to be minced or well, actually a rough mince, it's actually pretty big. And there's a hack to this, my darlings. You're going to line them up on the cutting board and with the flat of your knife blade facing away from you, put the flat of the knife on those cloves and give it a smack. And the peel comes right off, at least a lot easier than normal. And now that you've smacked them with the knife, they have normally separated just a wee bit. I'm sure you're having a hard time seeing that right now, but they've separated a little bit. And we are going to cut them from stem end to root end, not the length of the clove, but the width of the clove. And you are done. You have a nice large mitts, and that's what we're looking for. Go ahead and put those bad boys right on in. Now, Lemon peel is huge for this recipe, absolutely huge. Yes, there's a little bit of lemon juice crystal in that Greek seasoning, which makes it so, so good, but we need a little extra lemon. And so what we've done is we've grabbed potato peeler and a lemon, and we've made six peels right along the lemon, just like so. And Grab six of those, line them up on your cutting board. So let me see, I've got two, three, four, five, and six. You don't want to do a deep cut on these, really. You want to stick to as much of just pure yellow peel as possible. Turn it around. And so basically I've julienned this and we're going to go ahead and give it a mince by doing the same thing. Now this, is beautiful and can go right into our marinade. Now this is going to give a lot of really great lemony flavor without losing a whole lot of those bright notes in the cooking process. Now if you don't have lemons, lemon lemons, you can use to a teaspoon of lemon juice instead of the lemon peel. The lemon peel gives off it its flavor a little bit uh, slower than lemon juice will. Grab something to stir this with, stir it up. You're going to be getting a thin paste. Look that. Like I said, a thin paste. And you grab out a zipper lock bag, like I was showing you last week. This is great for marinades. You're going to grab some tongs, put your chicken right into that zipper lock bag. And now, you're going to pour that marinade straight into the bag. Close up the bag most of the way and get all the air out of it. Now at a certain point, you really can just kind of roll the bag and get all those juices coming up towards the zipper and close it real good. Now you squish it around a bunch. Make sure that marinade is in contact with everything possible. 
Now this is going to sit for at least half an hour to about two hours because if you let it sit much more than that, your chicken's gonna be too salty. And half an hour to let osmosis do its wonderful work with that little bit of salt in there. Now, if you're going to omit the salt, that's totally fine. Go ahead and let it sit probably for at least an hour, if not more. You can even let it sit overnight to let all of that wonderful flavor get into that meat. You're going to have some fluid trains with that as well. So I need to clean up my mess real quick. I'll be right back. From here, this is going to go into a 425 degree oven with as much space in between these as you can reasonably get. This is a little crowded, so you're gonna be wanting, say, half an inch at least in between each piece so they don't touch each other. Now, that beautiful lemon that we just peeled is going to have to give up some of its juice because of this next step. This stuff is gorgeous. Look at that. At this point, what we're going to do, take all of the chicken, put it into one pan. As you can see, this stuff is really, really gorgeous. And it's crispy, it's beautiful. It's got that crunch when you pick it up with the tongs. Oh my gosh, so good. And I'm going to go ahead and pour the rest of the pan juices into a different pan. Normally these go into a platter. Now what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be stirring in one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. Why are we doing it now of all times, really? Because under heat, lemon juice loses its brightness. Make sure that you've got a nice bright lemon flavor. Add lemon juice at the very end. That is about one tablespoon. Stir this up. This will get kind of a milky look to it because you've got oil mixing with a water-based liquid and that's all good. Seriously, all good. At this point, you're going to bring this bad boy over. Oh my gosh, can you get any better than that, really? I don't think so. I'm gonna bring this back over and spoon these juices right over the top. And my friends, it is time to serve. Okay, every time you serve, you're also gonna spin a little bit of these juices back over the top. There we go, oh my gosh. Look at that, oh. That is seriously a thing of beauty. I wish you could see the whole enchilada here. Oh, really? This is awesome. Oh my gosh, wow. Would you look at that? Steam and all. Oh, 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 the smell is incredible. You have a little bit of a crunch going through that skin if you do it right away. Oh, yeah. You see, this is why I love this recipe. This taste buds try to explode on me. And so you taste the lemon, you taste all that garlic, you taste the wonderfulness that is the Greek seasoning, and it becomes its own flavor with that chicken. And it is just so good. It may be a little bit more in intensive than some of our recipes, but trust me, it's worth it. So from our kitchen to yours, Spice Girl here. Yes, I've given it. Have a great one, keep things tasty, and we will see you next week with a new blend of the month.